Hi guys, it's Sienna, and welcome to Lights Out with Sienna, a kid's show to share my passion about Formula One. First off, let's start with my segment called F101. I know a lot of kids are new to F1, so I'll share some interesting facts. So normally, the F1 season starts in March and is supposed to end in November. 2020 was supposed to be the longest season ever with 22 races. We shall see what the FIA decides to do this season. So, why Formula 1? Because one day, I want to be an F1 race car driver and an auto engineer. Plus, I love all things fast. Make sure you subscribe and share with your other Formula 1 friends. Well, as you may have noticed, the 2020 Formula 1 season has not started yet. Unfortunately, the whole world seems to be on lockdown because of the COVID-19 virus. So we will have to wait to start the 2020 season. More on that later in the show. As of now, the end of March, the following Grand Prix races have been cancelled. Australia, Vietnam, Spain, Monaco, Holland, Bahrain, and Azerbaijan. So the FIA, as of now, says that the season will start as soon as it's safe to do so, which is possibly in June at the Canadian Grand Prix. We'll give updates as soon as we get more news. Fingers crossed we can all stay healthy and enjoy the rest of the season. Now let's talk teams. There are 10 teams in Formula 1. Each team has two drivers, which means at any given time, there are only 20 people in the whole wide world who can call themselves a Formula 1 driver. That's pretty special. Lastly, let's talk points. F1 scoring works something like this. Drivers and teams receive points based on where each car finishes. Only top 10 receive points. The winner receives 25 points. The second place receives 18 points. Third place gets 15 points and 10th place only gets 1 point. Also, there is a bonus point given to each driver and team with the fastest lap of the race if they finish in top 10. At the end of the season, they calculate all of the points and determine which driver and constructor is the world champion. So what's cool about F1 is you can get a trophy for each race and an extra trophy at the end of the season if you win the world championship. Since we don't have any races to talk about yet, let's recap what happened in the 2019 season. 1. Lewis Hamilton won his 6th driver world championship and his teammate Valtteri Bottas got 2nd which gave Mercedes their 6th consecutive Constructor World Championship. Third was Max Verstappen for Red Bull, followed by Charles Leclerc for Ferrari, which is exciting because they are both pretty young at 22 years old. So other interesting finishes was Pierre Gasly, who finished 7th for Toro Rosso, while Alex Albon finished 8th for Red Bull. Now remember, these drivers switched teams during the 2019 season, but Pierre was driving for the memory of his friend, Anton Ubert, who sadly died in a Formula 2 crash. So even though it was considered a motion to move to Toro Rosso, he beat Alex Album in his best season. And now it's time for Smart Santa. We are going to do a quick Did You Know? Since it's March, which is Women's History Month, let's talk about only female driver who that ever scored a point in F1. Her name is Lola Lombardi. She was an Italian racer who raced in 17 F1 races in the 1970s. She started off in karting, then in Formula 3, and eventually in Formula 1. A fun fact is that she first job was to drive a delivery van for her family's butcher shop. Though she's no longer with us, we salute her. That's all for this week. We'll see you next week. Signing off from F1 Sienna out.